Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Community Influencer Show. My name is Erin Chung, and I teach modern real estate agents how to generate leads on demand, nurture relationships at scale, and take over local markets. Today, we are talking about the biggest myth of pot buys and other outdated forms of lead generation. Some of you guys are going to get really mad about this one. I'm just going to warn you right now. It's going to happen. Um, before we dive in, I want you to check out my free brand new training. It's called Five Steps to Six Figures. It is an exact A to B path that's going to show you how to generate your next or first five figures in real estate. It's the path that all of our clients are using in order to get to their first or next six figures in real estate. So uh, if you want that training, please go to communityinfluencer.com slash masterclass. Again, that is communityinfluencer.com slash masterclass and it's yours. All right. So this is going to be a heated one. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump in. I know you guys are going to get mad. That's fine. Um, someone in my Facebook group said like, in pre preparation for an upcoming holiday, she wanted to know about like how to deliver the pies. And I was like, Ugh. I was like, wait, what? Like, are we still doing that? Like people are still pies. Like we're really, we're okay. We're doing that. So I was like, okay, um, let me just look at this just logically for a second and see kind of where this is going. So I started asking more questions and sure enough, it's like a lot of you guys are still delivering pies and it's like, they're, you know, it's pot pies. I get it. Okay. That's fine. But you guys, like you've got to understand, like I have never, never worked with a top producer who hand delivers anything, especially not pies. Okay. Because here's the thing. Top producers know how to run a business. And when you're running a business, that is not a scalable lead generation model. Okay. You running all around town, delivering pies to people, unless you're a bakery, like that's not your business. Your business is not pies. It's not running errands. Okay. Like that's not scalable. What is scalable is you finding other forms of lead generation that can actually have increased results without increasing your effort. Okay. That is what's going to create a scalable business for you. Have I seen top producers order food trucks? Yes. Have I seen top producers do pumpkin patches? Yes. Have I seen them sponsor carnivals? Yes. But please understand though, that those are all scalable. So if you get a food truck, the people come to you. If you're doing a carnival, the people come to you. <laughs> if you're doing a pumpkin patch, people come to you. You are not going to them because that's not scalable. OK, that's not how you run any business uh, unless you have a pie delivery business. That's just <laughs> that's it. OK, um, so going all over town, door to door, it's not scalable. Um, and top producers know that pot buys are not the only culprit. Anything that you're delivering, like FISBO packets, expired packets, um, even like I've seen people do like like goldfish, like I said, other pot buys, yard sale, all of that stuff. It's not scalable. Like you s s going there, like wasting time, all of that stuff. It's just it's it's not a good way to, to run a business. I'm sorry. It's not. Um, and so well, here's what I want you to do. I want you to just imagine this scenario for a second. OK, uh, so let's say you are in need of a really good doctor, okay? And you have something really serious going on and you're like, gosh, like I need to find the best doctor in town to help me solve this issue, okay? You have two choices. Dr. A, who's busy actually performing surgeries and operating on people and like doing his job as a doctor, or Dr. B, the doctor who uh, is delivering handmade gingerbread houses that he made with his children the day before or some other type of craft. Okay. Everyone is going to choose Dr. A because Dr. A is a serious professional who's actually in business and who's actually doing his job. Okay. You delivering anything that you made or your children made or whatever, that's not going to make anyone want to choose you more. In fact, it devalues your brand. Okay. It devalues your brand because anyone that has time to run all over town delivering goldfish or Tootsie Rolls or whatever you're doing for the day or gum or whatever it is, like anyone who has time to do that, you're just screaming to the people that you aren't doing any business. 
that's why you have time to do all of that, right? So you need to really understand and like put yourself in the position of someone who is receiving the pot by. Will they eat the pie? Maybe. I won't because I don't eat food from places I don't know where they came from. And I'm sure a lot of people are like me. <laughs> like they may eat the pie, they may not. I don't know. But uh, that's not going to, it's not a selling point, okay? Like there are better ways to stay top of mind like sending emails, running Facebook retargeting ads, having a Facebook group, et cetera. Like there's so many other better ways to stay top of mind these days than to deliver something that like looked like it came from 1955. Okay. So I'm just going to keep it real with you guys. Um, so instead of delivering pies, what I want you guys is I want you to deliver value. Okay. You don't need to do any of that cheesy stuff. You don't like, maybe it worked in the fifties. Maybe you're delivering recipes and all that stuff, but like, let's keep it honest. Like no one needs a pie in this day and age. It's the 21st century. Most people need gym memberships, myself included. Like we don't need more pie. All right. We don't. Um, it's your value that's going to command respect and that is actually going to boost your credibility as a professional. Again, if you're thinking about the two doctors, you're going to want the one who's in production, who's actually taking his job seriously, not the one who's delivering gingerbread men. All right. That's just how it is. And I want you guys to be able to be taken seriously. And when you are operating as a true professional, you don't need all of those cheesy tactics from the fifties. Just do your job and do a darn good job. And that is more than enough. Okay. They want you. They want your value. They don't want the pie. If they want the pie, they'll go to Costco and get it themselves because we all know that's where you're getting your pies from. We all know. Okay. <laughs> so the good news is that you can focus on real estate, not running errands, but the bad news is that you may not know how to market your business. I just told you email, Facebook ads, all of that stuff that may be over your head. And I get it. What I want you to do is I want you to go to my free training. Okay. Communityinfluencer.com slash masterclass. And I explain everything in the class. In the meantime, what I want you guys to do is if you're watching this live, please go ahead and comment below or question below. I always come back to these videos whenever I get notifications. I come back, I reply to your comments, I answer your questions, all of the above. And I also guys want, want you guys to know that um, I do go live every single week. So you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, your favorite podcast platforms, all of the above. All you have to do is just search for community influencer and you'll be able to find me on any of those platforms. If you like the information that I put out and if you're happy with all of the stuff that you're learning, please go ahead and subscribe and review. In the meantime, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.